Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So today we're back with another breakfast one and Dad was sitting and searching and found a spot on TripAdvisor called Papa Baird's Restaurant. It's this little one, nice little small town restaurant and I- Terrace Heights, yeah. it's, uh, they got a good rating on TripAdvisor. I've seen it here. Um, uh, looks like a nice place to go check out. Give it a try. Not sure what food's there or what's going to be happening, so hopefully we get some good pictures for you and check you out here in a little bit. Get ready for the montage. Okay, so just got done eating. Um, I guess first impressions on mine, I got the meat sampler. And so hopefully you've seen a picture of that one saw as we were going through. They had ham, it looked like a homemade sausage on there. It had a crisp skin, bacon, uh, I don't, it wasn't like a sausage, sausage patty. patty. That, that had some different flavors in there. And then some hash browns. So one thing I definitely know for, as compared to the last restaurant you guys saw back in episode one was the hash browns I don't think were as good. They were undercooked. Like they, they needed to be cooked longer or something going on there. Um, I don't know, how, how'd yours, what'd you end up getting again? I got the chicken fried steak skillet. Uh, it's all chopped up, it's deep, it's stacked. Yeah, the hash browns could have had another minute on the griddle. Big difference is toast. Like the toast at the yeah, this was just plain bread toast. As yeah. Well. yeah, the other toast just blows it away um, for flavor, texture, everything all the way through. That was great. You don't care about toast, not a big deal. This is just the same average skillet that you could get at a Denny's, Sherry's, anybody. Um, the gravy was good. The gravy was tasty. I ordered a cup of gravy on the side. <laughs> the, the coffee was good. It wasn't bitter. It uh, wasn't acidy. Yeah. The thing that really bothered us the the general seating area is, is nice clean kept up they were fairly good with the coffee uh did have to ask for refill once um yeah we both emptied out that time yeah as we but food. the biggest downfall of the place i i don't know how health wise they're open with as filthy as the bathrooms are just there's stuff all over the walls the walls haven't been cleaned in I don't know, a year or longer. Some I different mean, holes. It looks like there's like been some water damage peeling on the walls. I don't know. I, the sinks, the faucets, they're just gum. The urinal, the toilet. I, I've never seen, I mean, you'd think it's something been sitting in there unclean for, you know, five to 10 years. It, it's just. So I don't know if it's stained so bad they can't clean it off there nah, anymore, like you, the porcelain. Or but there's ways to clean that. You just use some vinegar with uh, paper towel and put it on. It'll peel it off. So if we had to start off with, I would say on food for scale, I I, I mean I knew that I got the meat sampler, so there was going to be a lot of like salt and meats, but that kind of got that got to me over time. I would say, oh, best like a a seven out of ten for me. Uh, how'd yours? My six. Six. Yes, yeah, yeah. a six. And then the cleanliness. You know, that bothers you because how do the employees possibly keep their hands clean yeah. when to even touch the faucets? Uh, yeah, it's uh, that that was the big major coming in, the appearance of the place, everything. Parking. Whole parking Terrible. was tough. Yeah. It's, I, it's, but I mean, that was because it was packed, it was busy. Like there is. There's not a really. There might have been two spaces left open. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, left. people were liking the food. People were coming there. Um, they have a lot of different great dishes. Hopefully, you can help to check out the menu. I'll try and see if they had it posted on there. I, I didn't take a photo of it while we were in the restaurant, but um, overall, though, I think I'd give it a solid somewhere in between a six to seven out of ten on there. Um, it'd be interesting to set and try some of their other different dishes. Uh, they had one that was like a a pizza waffle breakfast waffle 
And there was something else that sounded really good to be able to well, say. There was some lunch uh, yeah. stuff that looked pretty good, um, which might be something which, you know, we'll do as a, a lunch deal, looking for burgers and stuff like that. Uh, just a few things they need to improve on. but Yeah, a nice, easy remodel, like deep, deep clean on that. And I think that'll really help out the restaurant a lot. So yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any places to be able to recommend, post it down in the comments down below down here. Otherwise, peace, everybody.